All right, welcome back. Now that we was discussing is that the uh, oh, that this breaks right, it could stop on a dime, and it all depends on your tech or uh, break of uh, you know your technique and breaking, and also in shifting too. That good, that's important. It's just, I pretty much utilize everything, especially because in, when you're shifting, you have to keep your pedal. Uh, you have to keep pedaling. You know, so you can't just stop and shift. You know, you gotta keep rolling those those pedals. So if not, you're just gonna cause like stress and mess up your derailleur one way or another. And I've done that in the past, so you know. But now I I'm pretty much now in fishing and shifting, and especially now I got this bike tuned up and obviously for free. So it's worth spending uh, six hundred on this bike. Especially from a retailer you want, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a specialized. Uh, it could be other companies. Of, I'm not sure if Fuji have hybrids, but it could be Giant as well, and Trek. Uh, possibly if there's if they still out there, those Gary Fishers and uh, maybe Riley's even. Or if not, if you even want to even go lower, right? Like you even could get a. If if your budget is like low, you know you got to do things little by little, and you got patience. You can even go to a Walmart bike, get a Walmart, right? You can go to Walmart and get a a decent bike for from less than a hundred dollars to maybe two three hundred dollars in Walmart, right? And you got to go into the mindset, especially if you go to Walmart. You got to realize that the bikes are not so bad. They frame, they steal. It's the maintenance. And Walmart, they don't, they just want to sell you the bike. They don't have no real bike mechanics, in my opinion, in any Walmart I've been to when it comes to the bike department. Yes, this happens, this happens. It's not because it's the material. One, in Walmart, right, the bikes are, most of the bikes in there are all made of steel. Steel, all right? So you got the thing when you want to purchase a Walmart bike, especially if you're going to in your mindset, either uh, getting a uh, a road bike or a hybrid. Personally, let's say if you was gonna get a road bike at Walmart, and you want to take your time and because you're on the budget, I would get the I think it's called a GMC Denali. Even though it's a steel frame, it's a steel frame. But mind you, you got to think about touring. So you got to take all right. Put your mindset and touring into your commuting. Now your job is your touring every day. You're riding five to twenty miles a day to work, so you're touring now. So now you got a strong, durable bike. So you got to keep that in mind. But however, little by little, you're gonna have to. Sadly, you're gonna have to eventually upgrade it. It has room to upgrade. Maybe like the tires, the rims, you know, the pretty much. You're gonna end up little by little upgrading because it is an addiction. Once you upgrade one thing, then you want to upgrade the next. Especially when it comes to Walmart bikes, you end up upgrading the drivetrain, the the uh, the railer, you know, this and that, and so and then you're gonna realize, damn, I should have spent money on a new bike. So see, to each his own. It's up to you. So, however. Uh, I really highly recommend, once again, um, for commuting and even if you're into bike messaging, courier type jobs, and you're not looking for so much for speed, right? And you're looking for more for strength and durability, you want to take like a, a touring to the level of commuting, right? And you know, you're still going to have speed, of course, but I'm going to be honest. I'm 10 minutes slow getting to work on this bike now, and I'm 10 minutes faster getting on the Fuji. So you got to keep that in mind. But, however, to specialize is, is durable. Even though it's A1 aluminum, it still has good durability compared to that. To talk about the carbon, for, uh, the, car, uh, the carbon, right? And it's just a... I, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's just the fork. I think the rest is aluminum. It's all mixed, I, I believe. Because I see rust on, I've seen rust on the on the nuts and screws and stuff. So I think uh, some steel aspects in there. So 
However, another advantage that the cross trail have is the accessories. Besides adding the water mount, I already emphasized the basket and the and the real racket, especially if you're into messaging. So if you got those, if you not you if you got those bags, I'm old school. We used to use those, um, you know, the messaging bags that go around strap with the metal buckle and stuff. So now these days, messaging bags got better over the years, but that's the ones I used to use, the one with the buckle, the metal, and, you know, even though it was waterproof, but it was pretty big jalopy types. And it came, whatever company you worked for, it came in, in their colors. And the, uh, the name of the company would be, like, pretty much tattooed it, tattooed to the bag. So, uh, however... You know, uh, if you old school, if you still like using messaging bag, go for it. But, however, what's the point of adding? You know, but that's this is my style. You, it doesn't ha doesn't mean you have to add the baskets. This is because, like I mentioned, I'm taking this bike touring, so I'm turning. This is right now becoming. I'm getting. I'm, it's getting, you know, breaking into more into sitting, touring, commuting. So, because that's like the next level. Once, you, once you're once you into commuting every day and you get that efficiency and your legs get stronger, you want to do, this is the bike you would love to go on an adventure with, like, really. Like, you're like, all right, now I want to travel. Especially if you would have good uh, a good group of friends, this bike will be good. You'll be like the... If you hook it up right with the right bags, they don't got to be the most expensive bags. And even keep the basket. Who cares what they say? Keep the basket with the bags, right? This bike right here, you could be like a, a domestique in a, a, in a, in touring, I mean. And I don't mean racing. You're not racing. You're just, you know, riding together from one point A to point B and back, right? And camping out. With the basket itself. You can have a couple, if you're strong enough too, you can have a few cup, uh, bottles of water there. And if you guys are planning to go nonstop, let's say straight 100 miles, you could be that guy or that woman to have to be passing the water. You know, you could ride up front. You know, if you're, if you're feeling confident and strong, you could ride up front and you could just, you know, cut the air for them and pass the water. You'll pretty much be the one, you know, if you hook this bike up right. You know, if you add the right bags, uh, and especially in the front and back, and you got the munchies, you know, besides clothes, you got other stuff going on, and, you know, you just got to know what to pack with you and how long this touring is going to be. Is it going to be for days, weeks, or months? So you got to just be prepared. That's pretty much it. But you just want to balance everything out, not to take enough, but not to take too much. That's my opinion. And especially if you're going to be camping, and there's water nearby, wash your stuff, you know, pretty much. That's it. That's what it's all about, surviving with your bike and coming back. And that's something I'm looking forward towards to. So, you know, the real racket has the ability with the bags first on the racket and on top of it, you can carry your uh, sleeping bags and so forth. And it's the same thing in the front. You can carry, uh, you know, and and if you're gonna get if see I'm not a laptop person so if I'm gonna take electronics, most likely it'll probably be like a Wi-Fi device and the phone, and make sure my phone is connected. So either way, you know, just in case, and and everything else is pretty much some clothes, some underwears, food, emergency money, and credit card, just in case if anything goes wrong, you know. So. This is the bike to go. So if you could do this, let's say, within the city limits, practicing, and especially with the weight, because they say that it's best to have a steel frame bike for, for touring. But I have faith I could do it with this, because I'm going to do it within the city first. And the next move is I really want to add a resistant you know, tubing and stuff into the tires. Hopefully, I could do it by this week, maybe. We'll, or I can see, you know, I just got to wait and see what happens. So, um, but for now, I just got to deal with the way it is. Just keep going confident. So, um, and another thing, I added uh, side handlebars. The the handlebars, the stem and everything, it has good, 
once you get used to it, you have great control, and you can actually, believe it or not, cut, cut sharp corners nicely, especially if you, like, semi use the brake, just slow down while you're still pedaling. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Because these are disc brakes. So it's like, you get that, that sweet spot, and then, you know, if you, especially if you're not shifting. So I really highly recommend, in my personal opinion, you know, to do a lot of things, I will go with this bike. But remind you is that you're gonna to remind you is that the cons is you're gonna be a little bit slower. You're gonna be adding more accessories here, like the maybe I might have I might add a frame bag, uh, this here, there, there, and you know. So, for the more you add on, and if you're not spending a lot of money. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of heavy. It's gonna be. It's gonna be getting heavier, and then you don't have to deal with it because you now you're not racing mode no more. Now you're about getting here, there, and making sure you know that's 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 what being a commuter is about. Getting to where you need to be on time and and ready. So this right here is for you. But if let's say if you're gonna get into bug bags and stuff. And with the with the water kit that goes inside the book bag, or just the water bag, uh, and you just want speed, and you're like, yo, okay, I love commuting, I love traffic, and you want to catch all the lights, you know, you got the lights time. I say go with the Fuji. But however, durability, but the, it all depends where you stay. Like I said, I'm in Phoenix. The durability on this bike is chancy. So you're, you're always wondering to yourself, should I always change the tires? Like what I'm going through right now. Should I make it more into more like a cycle cross thing? But city version, not like really going racing, commuting. You know what I'm saying? So you start questioning. That's me though. That's just me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still in the questioning phase on this bike right now. You know, my safety and everything. So... Uh, pretty much, I figure if you a speed demon and you're just like ah, adrenaline rush, and especially if you're lightweight, this bike is for you. Especially for commuting, if you just want to ah, go in in traffic and go fast, this will work. And especially if you you have the option to adjust the neck, the way to your liking. So, yeah. So this is pretty much, so far at the moment, in my opinion, for now, out of the fairness, I had a cross trail longer. I will give this, these two bikes at the moment, a tie. And because it's me, my personal opinion, you guys can say whatever y'all want for now, for commuting though, however, commuting. Think about commuting, don't think about racing, don't think about any sports. Think about getting to work as your sport on a bike or getting to getting shopping, doing getting groceries on your bike. Your daily life, your bike is part of your life now. So you got to decide. You could get both like me and then make one more as the fun bike, like what I'm doing with the Fuji. And go with the cross trails and make that your dedicated commute ride. Or vice versa, you could turn your Fuji into your dedicated commute ride, but you won't be able. I don't, not sure. I gotta recheck it, but I don't believe you'll be able to add all the accessories besides the water. Of course, the water mount, and I believe you can add fenders. That's what I'm planning to do as well. Actually, with the cross trails, I'm adding fenders. So there's more to come, little by little. But I will keep you updated on my city touring bike so that's my pick and that's my best bike at the moment so i gotta just give the fuji a month i gotta ride the fuji out a month to see what's good and what's needed so uh, thanks for watching and that's my take on my review and hopefully we'll be dropping more touring riding and hopefully the lights will help my cam at night thank you and god bless